Hey there, Nick Janathakis here. Sorry in advance if things sound a bit echoey, I just moved my home office into a new room, and right now there is a hardwood floor, a very minimal desk, and absolutely nothing else. So it is an echo, echo, echo chamber. So that is going to be fixed in uh, future videos, so don't worry about that. Now let's get to the good stuff, this video's content. So in this video, we are going to go over how you can run a single vim command from the command line and have vim open the same file multiple times for multiple different v splits, you know, vertical columns, and offset each of these columns at a specific line. So for example, we have this multi-open file here, and there's three columns, and the second column is sitting at line 109, and the third column is sitting at line 218. That is three lines uh, above the relative line numbers that you see over here. Now, you might be wondering, like, why on earth would anyone want to do such a thing? So as it turns out, I run this podcast here, running in production.com, and every week I speak with a new guest, and these shows are not live streamed, but, you know, they are totally unscripted. We just, you know, hop on a Zoom call and talk off the cuff for like an hour, hour and a half. So what I like to do is I like to open up my notes file and have a whole bunch of different bullet points in each of these columns. So I didn't show those bullet points here because it's not really too important for the video. But, you know, you can imagine some bullet points there, there, and there. And if you've ever done something like a podcast or an interview or something like that, you know, it's kind of annoying to have to like scroll through your editor to find the bullet points or notes that you want. So I like to split them up into multiple columns so that I can see everything at once just at a glance so I can be totally immersed in the conversation uh, with the guest. So that is why I have all of this set up. You know, maybe you'll want to do something similar, maybe totally different, but uh, it is a kind of interesting thing. So I figured it might be fun to make a video about it. So I am using terminal vim here, and multi-open is the name of the file. So if you run vim with dash c, you can actually start to run, uh, you know, multiple commands here and pass them to vim directly. So in our case, we're doing vsplit on the multi-open file here, and we're just going to make sure the cursor ends up at line 112. That's what the plus 112 is here. And then we use the pipe operator to run another command here, and we're just going to run a normal command zt. So ZT basically just uh, scrolls you to the top of the file for that specific line that you have. Now, if I rerun this command here, you can see that you know line 12 is over here, but the second column's actually on line 109. That's because I have something called scroll off in my vimrc file. So watch this, if I click here on the second column, it is going to ensure that I have three lines uh, above this. So that's why I wanted to offset it to line 112 so that the second column is actually at the top of the file instead of uh, you know somewhere else. So let's go back to this command over here, and uh, we will take a look at the rest of it. So actually, you know, I could just backspace all of this out, and like this will just be uh, just two columns, right? Just like that. Uh, and then we just build upon that, where we just pass in another dash C, because you can do this multiple times when, you, you know, the Vim command itself supports that. And then we just go to a different offset, and this time, you know, we're going to line 221 instead of 112, and we do the same thing on this file, and then we do in, uh, a normal ZT, and then we end up with that third column. So if you ended up having something like four columns, then you can just run another dash C at a different offset. Or if you only wanted two instead of three, then you can just remove the other one. So this is going to be a short video. I thought this tip might be a little bit useful. Who knows, maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't. Let me know if you do in the comments or if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer all of them. Also, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.